Fafano and welcome back to another Women's Health Action Strategy Update. I'm Caitlin, our Digital Media Health Promotion Coordinator, and today I'll be taking you with me to meet with Tash Crosby of Talk Peach. Talk Peach is a foundation which is aiming to create awareness of gynecological cancer and provide support to those affected by it. I'm off to meet with Tash now, so let's find out what she has to say. Hey everyone, so I'm here with Tash. Do you want to tell us a little bit about who you are? Sure. Um, so my name is Tash Crosby and I'm the founder of uh, Talk Peach, which is a gynecological cancer charity. And yeah, we started, I started Talk Peach after a battle with ovarian cancer back, um, I was diagnosed in 2016 and battled through um, up until like mid 2017. And that's how, that's how the charity was born, I think from a, a survivor's point of view, wanting to create something that um, I felt was lacking when I was sick. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, filling a much needed space and just wanting to, I work as an educator as well with the Ministry of Education and it was just wanting to take all my knowledge and yeah. pass it on to, um, to yeah, create more yeah. survivors and more awareness and getting people talking about their gynecological health like we do about our breasts and everyone talks about breasts and rugby teams are wearing pink and <laughs> people know how to check them and it's almost mm -hmm. like creating a new awareness about when you're checking your pair then don't forget to check down there <laughs> and knowing the signs and symptoms is yeah, well, and yeah. feeling comfortable to, to have those conversations yeah um, that's awesome yeah. i think for me i didn't really know a lot about gynecological cancer before finding you and your story so what do you think women should know what are the symptoms yeah. Um, the main yeah the main thing um, that I would tell women is to a go to our website because on our website we have um, um, sections on all of the five gynecological cancers their signs their symptoms the tr and the treatment. Um, but yeah, the, there are five different gynecological cancers and they all have different signs and symptoms. Um, a lot of them cross over mm -hmm. um, across each other, but they are they are still um, individualized. I think the main thing that I would tell women, which is, becomes quite a shock actually to a lot of girls, is that your cervical smear um, isn't actually a warrant of fitness for your gynecological right. health. Yeah. Um, and you could be going through regular smears and feel like your superwoman are completely up to date, but really you could have late stage ovarian cancer and yeah. a cervical smear could come back um, clear. So it's yeah. just um, really realizing that a cervical um, smear only tests uh, for changes to the cervix mm -hmm. and the other four gynecological cancers there are no screening tools so in order to be diagnosed you need to know what those signs and symptoms yeah. are and have um, the courage to seek help yeah. and um, to also act upon changes fast so know your body yeah. and um, act upon that. And yeah. what could seeking help look like? What should people do if they're thinking they have those symptoms? Um, if you think you have those symptoms, I would say, definitely I would say, if you're noticing a change to your body, a good idea is to start jotting down things that you've noticed. Um, definitely booking in to see your GP um, or gynecologist or um, family planning New Zealand. And I'd, I'd suggest taking a written list because people forget um, what's happening. Sometimes people get flustered when they're talking to a yeah. internet, although the majority of them are very, very nice. <laughs> Um, and they do make you feel comfortable, but um, yeah, I'd suggest writing writing things down um, and not delaying. I'd say if you've noticed changes to your body and it's been carrying on for two weeks, you know that's when you've got to go mm. and, and um, yeah. really seek um, seek some help and yeah. um, not to be scared and and pushing for for testing. Mm. You know there are certain tests that you can get, and you know you can look at our website and it's got lots of information about um, the certain tests that they would do and also what those tests kind of look like to prep, yeah. you, prep you for yeah. that. Yeah. Awesome. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about Talk Peach as a foundation? Sure. So I guess um, as a foundation, you know, our, our vision and mission is to educate and raise awareness on the five gynecological cancers. Mm -hmm. um, we also are about support um, yeah. as a survivor of ovarian cancer and also our chairwoman survivor of ovarian cancer, we're very aware about the lack of support um, there was when we were diagnosed mm -hmm. recently. So that's a huge part of about what 
what we are as connecting women and providing them with information and links to other survivors and personal stories yeah. so that they don't feel like they're alone um, and creating this uh, create, educating and creating awareness so that the general public are on board as well because it takes you know it does take a community yeah. of people to make change um, yeah. and we can't do it on our own so we really <laughs> really welcome any help um, you know yeah um, for getting on board but yeah support and then eventually um, funding research um, nice. yeah so education sport and and research is what yeah. we're about and awareness yeah. as well yeah awareness yeah. and breaking down stigmas and taboos around yeah um, talking about vaginas and vulvas and yeah yeah um, why do you um why do you think there's such a lack of awareness around gynecological cancer oh i pure i think it's purely because we haven't really it's to do with um not being not talking about gynecological health and yeah. it's almost it's been like this taboo for so long but now you've got all these girls um and all these other people in the space doing wonderful things like fighting you know going to the government about period poverty yeah. and people are talking about endometriosis and menstruation and girls are becoming more vocal yes. for themselves and it is it is a it is a it is like a, a shift in in confidence of women sort of advocating for their health and I think yeah. and just in general public people wanting to talk about um, certain things I think yeah I just think the stigmas slowly falling away yes. and yeah but you've got to start those conversations and you've got to normalize those conversations if you want yeah want the conversation to, to grow the stigma down yeah and create more public awareness yeah, like, yeah. and to normalize it mm. yeah 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 we want, um, yeah, we want rugby teams to be wearing peach. Um, <laughs> we want people running wearing peach and fundraising wearing peach. Um, yeah, I think as I think another important thing for women um, to look at as well is family history. Mm -hmm. um, you know, find out if anyone in your family has had a yeah. variant. There's yeah, there are certain genetic links between yeah. the gu some gynecological cancers, so that's a good idea is to check out your family history, know the normal, and if anything from the norm changes, is just yeah to seek help. And also, if you know if you are you know are sort of scared about talking about things, you can always contact us, mm. and we know lots of other agencies where we can yeah. put people in contact oh, with as well. Awesome. Yeah. That, um, that they can talk to, but um, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Tash. Where can our audience go if they want to find out more about Talk Peach or if they want to donate? Or If you would like to know more about Talk Peach, um, then please go to our website. It's www.talkpeach.org.nz. Um, we also are on Instagram um, at talk underscore peach. We're on Facebook as well. And yeah, drop us an email if you have any questions. Um, if you've been diagnosed, if you are a survivor, we really love um, to connect with, with everyone. And our website is educational based at the moment, but it is being pushed out soon to have a support section and it'll have personal stories and um, a wellness section, chemotherapy guide. But yeah, we just, we, we love anyone who wishes to kind of get on board with us um, to help. and. Uh, Christmas is around the corner, it's the season for giving, so if your work would like to donate, um, then yeah, we have a donate section on the website, we'll happily, happily take your donation to keep <laughs> us plugging along and doing, doing the work that we're doing. And also we do workplace, workplace um, workshops or sports groups or anything, if you'd like a workshop, we happily come and do workshops to upskill people and educate people, that's, awesome. that's our job, so yeah, get in touch. Well, thank you so much, Tash. It was really interesting and very informative. Thank you. Thanks for having me. There you go. That was Tash Crosby of Talk Peach. A huge thank you, Tash, for taking the time to educate us and our audience about gynecological cancer and Talk Peach. Remember, everybody, you can check out talkpeach.org.nz for more information, and you can find out more about what we do at Women's Health Action by going to womenshealth.org.nz. See you in the next one.